Good day everyone. Today I will be recording our lesson for MAPE for you to better understand this lesson. Now, let's start. Look at the picture and observe. When you get sick, do you wonder if you got it from someone who was sick? Or is it possible that you can spread it to someone else or other members of your family? These questions are very important for us to know on what is needed to be done so we can avoid these. So for this topic, we are going to talk about the characteristics of communicable diseases. Let's have this word, diseases. Diseases can be classified in two ways, communicable and non-communicable diseases. Look at the picture about communicable diseases. What can you say about it? If you think it is like a disease that can be transferred from one person to another, it is correct. Because communicable diseases are diseases that can be transferred from one person to another. So let's say for example, you have colds. Then you went outside to play with your friends. Hmm there's a possibility that they might have colds tomorrow or the day after. When you got home, you hugged your mom so tight and the next thing you know, she already has colds. On the other hand, we have here non-communicable diseases. And as shown, here are the examples. Now, what do you think is non-communicable diseases? If you think it is the opposite of communicable diseases, then you are absolutely right. Non-communicable diseases class are non-infectious diseases or cannot be transferred from one person to another. So, you might be wondering what is the main reason for this? Actually, class, the world we are living in right now is filled with microorganisms. When we say microorganisms, these are small living organisms, or as the name would tell us, it's micro. It means that they are very, very little, that you cannot see them with your naked eye. And for you to be able to see them, you need to use a microscope. So, there are a lot of microorganisms around us. Some are good and some are bad. So, the bad ones are the main reason why we have communicable diseases. These microorganisms can simply be called as germs or pathogens. Actually, germs or pathogens are everywhere. It's in your hands now. They might also be in your mouth now or inside your body. We cannot see them right away because of how tiny they are. But despite being so small, don't underestimate them. They can make you sick. They can multiply fast and spread quickly. Now, let's go over the different pathogens or disease-causing germs. Now, let's go over the different pathogens or the disease-causing germs. The first one is bacteria, then the virus, fungi, lastly, we have protozoa which is under parasites. So, let's get to know them one by one. First off, we have bacteria. So bacteria are tiny single-celled microorganisms. They come in different shapes including rods, spirals, and spheres. So um, these bacteria can grow and multiply in both living and non-living things. So if you're using your cell phone or your smartphone right now and watching this video, hmm, before you eat, wash your hands, there might be bacteria there. Other than that, they might be in you because you are a living organism. But take note class, not all bacteria are bad. Some bacteria are good just like the bacteria living in your intestines. It helps uh, in the digestion or the breakdown of the food you eat. So it's very, very useful. 
Next, we have viruses. Scientists describe this as small and lightweight living organisms. So because they are lightweight, they can just float through the air, survive in water, or even on the surface of your skin. You can even inhale them without even knowing. Okay, so that's why you have to wear masks outside. So that is very important. So see, COVID-19 is caused by viruses. And now you already have an idea why it spread very quickly worldwide. Then we have fungi. Another type of pathogen that causes a disease is the fungus. The word fungus means mushrooms. I think most of you know already what a mushroom looks like. Um, mushrooms are usually the big members of the fungi family. They look like plants but they are tiny. Unlike plants, fungi cannot make their own food. Instead, they get their food by decomposing matter or eating off the skin of other living things. Fungi can get their food by eating the skin of plants, animals, or even us, humans. So imagine if ever you will have fungi, they will probably be eating off your skin. And if it will take longer for you to treat them, imagine how much skin will they be eating from you. Lastly, we have protozoa, which is under parasites. So, actually, there are three kinds of parasites, namely protozoa, helminths, and arthropods. So, they get their food from bigger animals or humans. So, I think most of you or some of you are familiar with some of those. Uh, they cause diseases in the animals or humans they live on. So, that's it class. Thank you and goodbye.